Just wanted to make a quick video. Uh, this is Ted KG6AJH. Just making a quick video about the uh, QRP Labs QCX transceiver. Um, great little kit. It's really reasonably priced. One issue that I had was with this um, this toroid T1. Uh, for 40 meters, it has a total of 53 windings. Um, has a has a uh, big winding and then three smaller windings. I ended up having to do it twice. Um, the instructions might be helpful for some people, but the instructions that were provided that involve making all the windings together and then twisting them together and then untwisting them and then, and then cutting them and then figuring out which hole they go in was too difficult for me. And I, I ended up getting confused. I had to redo it. So what I did was I found some extra magnet wire that I had that was a different color so I did alternating colors. I did the big winding in red, and then I did uh, one of the small windings in gold, and then went back to red and then gold. And I just kept, you know, all my my inside um, leads on the inside and the outside leads on the outside. And either way you do it, it's going to be difficult. But at least this way, you know, I was able to thread in the three leads that go on the inside of the toroid and then f and then feed in the other ones and then slowly pull it down and of course you know i had to get a little pick in there and you know there might be a little overlap here or a little overlap there but considering the difficulty i'm pretty happy with the results so just wanted to um put some of that information out that maybe um winding it off uh or not winding it all together and then cutting these loops that they suggest in in the instructions and maybe just just winding them separately that's what helped me i guess the the only advantage to winding them all together would be that you can maybe get the windings a little closer and a little tighter on the toroid so it's give and take whichever works for you thanks